How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of pale ale time. In the form of some brewings, mainly pale ale. Um, second some beer I have had ever. Wait a second. Because, uh, graciously, uh, the actual owner of my company actually went on a vacation up in Maine. Um, the biggest beer guy in the world. He enjoys a couple good beers and ended up picking these up. Brought them back for me and... Here we are. I just did one of their other ones that was their apostrophe IPA. Um, I believe it was a double IPA. No, it was just an IPA, I believe. Anyway, regardless, um, it was the second one of the bunch. Let's dive into it, see what she's got. As far as what it says on this can, some brewing company, mainly pale ale, 5.1% alcohol by volume, uh, featuring main grown malt. Um, brewed with main grown and malted two row oats and wheat, this beer is our thank you to the hard working farmers that make it all possible, as well as the hardworking beer drinkers that will enjoy this easy drinking coffee pail. No farms, no beer. Ready when you are CB. Don't know what that means. And that'd be that. Uh, Label-wise, it's pretty much exactly like the other label, except the uh, this kind of like uh, pine tree kind of thing on the bottom there is just a different color. The other one is green. This is a little more of a kind of like a teal light kind of blue thing going on. I like the label. It's blowing me away. I like it. So, let's give this... A pour in this glass, which will generate a gigantic freaking head. Once I can run it down the side of here. Anyway, um, yeah. First things first. That crap tastic pour generates almost three fingers ahead. Decent creaminess, nothing too crazy. Um, and pretty, you know, you know, standard kind of bubbles from micron size to relatively large. And what you're left with is a straw, yellow, slightly hazy kind of look to her. Nothing too crazy. Subtle haze, but she definitely looks like a pale ale. Let's see if we can get a nose on her. Just a bit of malt. Uh, it comes off almost like a slightly um, more robust hop kind of pilsner, actually. You're getting like a slightly crackery kind of malt to it. Um, a little bit of bitter bitterness, but not much else. Yeah, a bit of sweetness, a bit of bitterness, a little bit of maltiness leading away. Done and done. Let's see if we can get a taste on her. Cheers. Kind of follows suit in the mouth. Um, you know, really not much there. A little bit of bittering hop, nothing too crazy. The malt definitely comes off kind of crisp and refreshing, kind of like Pilsner-like, but a little bit more murky, a little bit more sweet. A little bit of crackeriness to it, and that be that. I mean, uh, it is a quintessential chugger beer. It's not something you're going to sit and kind of dwell about and think about and talk about the subtle nuances of. It's something more utilitarian than um, than whatever the opposite of utilitarian is. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um, crisp, clean, refreshing, easily drinkable, but at the same time, nothing that lights the world on fire. And it's ABV, 5%. You usually want something a little bit more there, flavor-wise, um, even if it is a chugger. So, while not something I'd be like, hell no, I'm not drinking that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, with the world flooded with a bunch of pale ales right now, I could probably do a little bit better. Let's put it that way. And I think that's it. But overall, super crushable beer. Got a slightest, slightest hit of maybe a little bit of citrus there, if anything. But the hops are just kind of generic, kind of better. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better pale ales I've had as of late now. I've had ones that are a little bit more robust, a little bit more kind of in tune with what I typically like. Uh, value and availability, don't know. Like I said, the owner of my company brought him back from me when he was up there vacationing. So I assume they're a shelfie because, um, you know, he's not usually like a beer hunter kind of guy. But maybe somebody up in Maine can kind of uh, can, uh, can, uh, clue us in on what's what and leave you with, uh, if you like what well, we like this, if you like chuggers, if you like, honestly, this would be a really good gateway for like, kind of like the macro lager crowd. Uh, if you give somebody who drinks your buds and your more cores in your Millers, you give them something like this, it's going to be like, okay, there's a bit more to this beer than, than I'm used to, but at the same time, it's definitely not going to be off-putting. So almost like a gateway beer, if you will, kind of tear them up, kind of level them up slowly so you don't scare them off too crazy with all those hops and malts and stuff. So yeah. If you like that kind of stuff, then you'll like this beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If 
they did anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff and things. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped, massive beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude out anywhere else and done and done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice mainborn pale right now and hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>